I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I, Rat Rod Bob, possess superpower. You don't believe me? Let me demonstrate. Yeah, that, that's not my superpower, that's my power. Here's my superpower. Hey, Bob! What, Red? How about doing a cold start on that old demon falcon? Huh. Why are you taking a day off from this old rat rod? Tell you what, Red. I think I'm gonna do that. For you and all my YouTube buddies. Yeah, cold start on the demon falcon. So, I hadn't started the demon falcon since the last video of it, which was over three months ago. So, we're gonna do a cold start on it. But first I gotta spin it over to get the oil pressure built up. Then I'm gonna turn the fuel pump on and hit the go button.
All right, let's have a look, see. Need to repaint the headers. Like bird crap on the on the valve cover rusted up a little bit. Not too bad. Three months of storage. Interior a little dirty. Yep, spider web, imagine that. Little old radiator. Probably don't cool it if you had, of course you can't, it's not legal to drive on the highway anyway, even though I got a license plate on it, uh, antique plate on it. It's not legal, of course, but you can go down the road in it if you don't get caught. <laughs> uh, radiator is not big enough to go very far down the road. I drove it like four or five miles at a time, maybe 10, and it didn't overheat, but any more than that, it probably overheat. But yeah, it's good for running running around the rat rod a bit and running down, up down the racetrack, so it works good for that. Now the motor, tell you about the motor. Of course, you can watch the build video. Most of you already seen it, but for the ones you ha haven't seen it, it's a 454 Chevy block out of an 85 Winnebago motorhome on a Chevy chassis is what the block's out of. It's got a 490, it's 496 cubic inches. It's got a stroker crank, forged stroker crank. Got forged H-beam rods. Got forged pistons, 60 over. It's got, they dome, they got, I think, a 30,000. I mean, the 30 uh, cc dome is 10 and a half to one compression ratio. Skip white performance is where I got the stroker kit and the heads, the skip white performance heads. I had them specially built for uh, this solid roller motor. It's got a big freaking solid roller cam in it. <laughs> solid roller lifters. Uh, Comp cams, all that stuff is comp, comp cam, cam, comp cam, lifters, comp cam, roller rockers, the good stuff. Got all the good stuff. Uh, trick flow push rods. Yeah, it's got all the good stuff in there. Yep. Comp cam springs, this far that cam. Yeah, the motor's got all the good stuff. Because the RPM range on the cam is 3,500 to 7,200 RPM. So I wanted all the good stuff on the bottom end. It's got a, a, what, they, what they, Skip White calls race balance, which is a little more, a little more better balance was within less than a one gram on the balance on the rotating assembly. So uh, of course I got the rev limiter set to about 60, 300 something like that I had never revved it over that so but I, I wanted out everything built in case I do decide to run it up to 7,000 rpm or so it should it should stay together these uh it's got the th 400 to come out of the motor home that I that I beefed up uh, shift kit heavy duty clutches uh, heavy Heavy, updated the Sprags, the heavy duty Sprags, 32 element Sprags, I think it is. Uh, 4,500 
RPM style converter in it. So when you hit the gas, the RPM jumps up to 4,500, you immediately, in the horsepower operating range for that engine, before anything, all you gotta do is hit the gas and it immediately jumps up in that horsepower range. So these little old tires, <laughs> Well, they like 11 and a half inches. They're 11 and a half, so they're like almost 12 inches wide, 28 inch tall, and not nearly big enough. No traction, not even second gear. I mean, you're on the road in second gear and you hit the gas, and those tires will break loose. Yep. Yeah. They look pretty wide, but they ain't wide enough. Uh, got the nine inch. I got 35 spline axles in it. It's a full spool, 430 gear. Yep. Got coilovers back there. Four link. All the good stuff. Uh, I don't like the seats at all. So, since I got that saw machine and I, I made some seats for the rat rod out there, I might attempt in the near future to make some seats for this. There's more 64 error seats. This is a 64 Falcon. Make some more 64 error looking seats to go in it because I don't, I don't like them at all. They don't look good. They're comfortable, they sit good, but they ugly. If you ask me, they're real ugly in that car. So I use them as something else. I don't know what go kart or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm using for. Uh, it's got the MSD ignition. Yep, got the good stuff. I got all good stuff, all good gauges, good everything in this one. Spent a lot of money on this car, so B and M shifter. Uh, quick release steering wheel. What a tachometer! I, nah, I said I got the good stuff. The tachometer is not the good stuff. It, the tachometer works, but there's a lot of stuff on, in electronic parts of it you can't set or nothing. Uh, so yeah, I need a better tachometer. That one ain't no good. Let's see what model it is so you know what to buy one. So, JDM, <clears throat> JDM tachometer, won't buy no more of them. Uh, got my castor oil oil catch, catch can for the coolant. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I can't tell you how much more about it. Of course, uh, you can watch the build video if you want to see more. We got I got two playlists: the playlist for the whole car build, and I got a separate playlist for just the motor build. So if you want to see all the details on building a motor, you can check out the video. I put the playlist and underneath the this video in the description. If you want to click on that, if you want to see the playlist for the car or the playlist for the engine by itself. Uh, I'll put it down in the playlist so you just click on that link, bring up the playlist. Uh, I don't have the, more spider webs. I don't have the headlights wired yet. Don't know if I ever will. Might one day, who knows? It's, uh, it's a S10 front clip. Well, if you watch the video, you see all that, but that's what that is, S10. And I built from from the firewall back. All the frame is custom built. It's a two by three rectangle tubing, and then I think inch and a eighth or inch and a quarter. Actually, pipe. I built most of it. Some of it, some of it, I bought a uh, roll bar kit, but then the rest of it is just pipe. Same kind of pipe they use in the oil field. So what a lot of it is.
not too hard. I can get in and out of it. And an old fellow like me can get in and out of it. Uh, anybody can, so that. Yep, got two wheel peel on this one. No doubt. Man, you're talking about sticky. That's some sticky stuff there. guys i really hope you appreciate this video i put a lot of work into it so yeah appreciate you see you next time taking the rest of the weekend off and pay.